everyone. It's Friday the 17th of June already. Doesn't that seem mental? Um, apologies for the late um, starting of this video today. We had a cry emergency earlier and things and stuff. And um, so I'm here now. So anyway, let's get going. I've shuffled, split and locked all your cards. Got a new deck today. They're going to be using the Golden Liar, Liar Lyra uh, uh, Tarot deck. Um, so let's just do it usual the uh, divine masculine divine feminine blended clarify and then advice so let us see what is going on out there in the world I hope um hope your moon was good the start a nice start okay this is well that's even better look at that wish fulfillment victory Hope, success. Coming in fast for you. Oh, well, my Divine Masculine Collective have been doing the work. Yeah, you're going to get yours. And I mean that in a really nice, energetic way. Two major arcanas. Three major arcanas, sorry. So this is a kind of, this is a, Quite a fated period for you. Wow, look, more of the tower. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more, please. Wow, there's a lot. Wow, mate. Oh, look at all these major arcanas. Wow. So the overall energy is the devil. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Wow, 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 that's pretty hardcore. Hardcore in a good way, don't, don't, nobody freak out. Okay, you, the overall energy is the devil, so either temptation, lust, or the urge to sabotage yourself may be strong at the moment. Are you struggling with something? Um, are you really struggling with addictions or... Toxic behaviours, perhaps. You're hopeful that you're going to overcome that. You are going to overcome that. There's, you're definitely going to overcome that. There is a tower moment for you this week, Divine Masculine. Um, a tower. Look at the look at the way these cards are sitting. Right, that that justice on one side and judgment on the other. This is karmic as fuck, by the way. Um, and it is how you deal with it. It's going to put you into this emperor energy. This is coming in fast. There's no pissing about here at all. These changes are happening. Boom, boom, boom. I said, I don't know if I said it in the weekly read or if I said it in the moon read. But um, you are definitely moving what has been in your mind, what has been in your soul into the 3D, into actual action here. Um, and it is, it is coming in fast, guys. So um, looking really, really positive and hopeful right now. You're going to feel tested, I feel, um, and perhaps you'll feel tested and you may even, you know, have some misjudgments, um, but you may, uh, we'll see when we clarify, let's see when we clarify. Let's do the Divine Feminine. Okay. It's going to be quite dark in here for some reason. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Inspired new beginning. Six of Swords moving away. Bit of sweet. Bit of sweet there. Oh yeah. Protection of boundaries. The devil again. Oh. Baby girl, maybe you're the temptation for that divine masculine. Maybe you're both, you know. for the Divine Feminine, please, in the week. What have we got there for the Divine Feminine, please? I'm a bit tight with these cards now. Okay, one more for the Divine Feminine, please. 
Nee. Tef. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so... For the Divine Feminine, it's more of a kind of an immediate thing. This is really happening for you. <sighs> um, so the overall energy for the Divine Feminine is death. So transformation ending, you know, a rebirth, a, a, um, a transition, a transitional energy here for you. Um... But you've got this, you've got this, you know, universal led, new, inspired, creative, new beginning. Um, now this, this is a, okay, this is a, this is a, this is a past situation here for you. Um... <clears throat> Okay, look, these are not talking to each other. I don't mean that these are two people not talking to each other. These are very separate energies here. Um, they're, um, for the Divine Feminine, there is a real uh, a need to, to affirm, reestablish your boundaries here. Um, and there is, there is, you know, you're either going to be dealing with somebody that's got addiction issues or you've got addiction issues or there's going to be a toxic situation where you're either connected through lust or through toxic, just toxic behaviours um, to, and I feel like you're, with this, what, what I mean is by these two, this, this, this divine feminine is not connected to this divine masculine okay the the people in my collective here this is not this could be you could be connected to this but um or maybe you are i don't think so though it feels very it feels very very separate or maybe there's just this separation right now in terms of where you're at in terms of your energy but you're gonna have to you're gonna divine feminine you're 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 you in order to make the right decisions here you're going to have to connect to your higher self here there is going to be a period here of of i mean you can make plans and look to the future which is what the two uh, two of one speaks of here but you are going to have to hang back and watch and wait and this is you don't know everything yet there's no you, you need to you need to like don't make any rash decisions okay um really don't but there is there is there is some conflict for you in in the next week for the divine feminine the divine masculine i don't even though you've got the cat power, tower and justice and, and and judgment here this is a big test for you divine masculine the divine feminine is just fighting a corner here. I feel if this is like if these are these two are connected, this related here, like a an ex relationship or something, right? Um, <clears throat> but the divine feminine really, you know, I feel like you're transforming and you have and you have this new energy. You have this new, you know, new creative burst of energy and passion for something, I, and I think it's you. I think it's for you. Excuse me, I think it's for your um, sovereignty, really. Um, but it, it does involve letting go of some, letting go of something, or or I think when it's letting go, I think it's letting go of a behaviour of yours, actually. Or is it? Well, I think actually, I think it's both. It's letting go of a behaviour of yours, but I think it's also accepting or letting go of the behaviour of someone else. There's a bit of a war happening now, internally as well as externally.
Okay, let's do the blended first before we go any further. Eight of Wands, the Moon. Okay, so this is the light sea tarot that I'm using right now. This is the Muse, Golden Lyre. I don't know if you say it, Lyre, Lyre, it's an instrument anyway. Ace of Pentacles. That was actually in reverse, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not taking that one. I'll put that a little bit there. Hmm. Okay, so the overall energy in the blended is the Ten of Pentacles, and that's really, you know, a happy, balanced family, home, tree of life, this um, celebration, joy, the really the um just the completeness of balance here um and the way to achieve that is is through communication there may be i do feel like actually for some of you there's going to be quite a lot of heated conversations um but again the moon has come up so there is this unknowing here there is a there is a and we are going now into the dark phase of the moon so um if you want to channel that connect to your dark goddesses um meditate on them got the ace of wands has come up again the ace of pentacles and what Well, it's interesting here, the tower, the two of wands and the three of wands in reverse. Sorry about my nail varnish as well, I had a chance to redo it. Um, I'm not, not willing to take action at this point planning but there's going to be a big realization here on both sides and i feel like <laughs> right look if you if you're a divine masculine in this situation and you you are the one that has these addiction problems or issues with your toxic behavior that you're not um dealing with then you're going to have to deal with them this week you're going to be successful okay the outcome is going to be successful for you but and you are going to come out of this with with some some real self-awareness and knowledge this is a really fated time for you divine masculine uh, you will be victorious but i but if you act without awareness and that tower moment is going to fucking hurt you and karma is going to be unleashed on you here you know what i mean however if you act with integrity and honesty and realness um in and you are in that warrior stance here and it's not just a warrior the emperor is you know he's a he's a a well-learned master at well in the negative it can be manipulation but in the, but in in the positive you know he he's 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 a man who knows how to play the game um, to his advantage. However, this is really, and this, these changes are coming in really fast for you. Um, I'm just really getting the energy of being your integrity. 
for the divine masculine and they were and i feel like perhaps at one point this week you're not going to be in that you're either going to be pushed to it or you're going to be it and then you're going to be exposed you're as in you're you know and that's a good thing it's a good thing because it's a lesson here that you need to learn the divine feminine is you know this is transformative for you as well but this is so this is like a long even though the chariot so this is like a these are oh what's the right word these are life path things that happen to you right now divine ma masculine divine feminine these are these are more apart from death which is you know this growth and rebirth uh, these are these are short-term things that are going on with you here divine feminine i just feel that you have a battle coming up this week um where you're gonna you you may have to walk away admit defeat come out of a new plan come out of a different way it's what is interesting here with the tower the two the two of ones and the three of ones in reverse you're not actually taking action at this point I think you're waiting to see what somebody else does. Now, the justice, the judgment, the justice that you'll get here, Divine Masculine, will really depend on whether or not you've acted with integrity and your right action. But in the blended, though, I mean, it's going to be, it is going to be a challenging week for some of you, I'm afraid. And there is going to be some harsh words spoken. But there is absolutely the possibility of a new beginning here. And not necessarily, I don't mean necessarily for the relationship to split up and get back together. I, just, I mean, a new way of working with either an ex-partner, an employer or something like that, family. But you are definitely going to be challenged this week, Divine Feminine. And you definitely got to act in your integrity. Let's try and get some clarity, yeah? Okay, so did I say the cards already? So it's the Golden Leer, the Muse, the Lightseers, Ashley Cook's original tarot, the Bluestone tarot, our tarot, and tarot mystical moments. Okay, so Page of Pentacles with a star. Oh, there's a card come out there. The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Interesting. That is interesting. Ooh. Curious. Okay, so. There is a hope here that this deception can end and that it can be replaced with, with, with love and that and that there could be a new way of tackling domestic or a financial situation here. Yeah, there's a hope that you'll be able to do that by creating this balance. But somebody here, and I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's the person you're dealing with, but somebody here is coming from this place of wounding. So, so the f Seven of Swords, right, it's like the Five of Swords. So... The Five of Swords is winning at all costs, really, no matter what the cost, okay? You know, let's get that last dig in, just having the last word. Conflict, you know, and kind of reveling in it, really, the Five of Swords. With the Seven of Swords, it's like, on the original Rise of Weight, he's like, he's, he's sneaking out of these swords in, before anybody stabs them with him. And it's like, so basically, you know, like when you get in there before someone else, with a dig before somebody else does in, in this, you know, this kind of projection battle, um like so there's that there's that there's that energy here of that but there is also this energy of wanting wanting this new way of being this new balance and there is this love here over that so and this wish fulfillment this hope it's really interesting let's um Let's keep going. Six of Wands. Maybe that's what you want to be victorious in. It's to create this balance. 
So six of wands, seven of wands. So you're looking at your investments. You're looking at where the seeds that you've sown and you're looking at your crops coming off now you're in, as in like you know you're looking at that you know you've you've planted these seeds you've 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 brought you know stuff stuff is starting to grow that you that you were working on previously and you're kind of looking at it now going have i have i made all the right choices here have i done the right thing is this crop worth continuing with is it time to thin it out you know um and keep the best ones i mean you know it's it's clarifying the six of six of wands here so it's victory after a battle so you know maybe that that ace of cups here is 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 perhaps if you've been in a defensive energy it's moving more into an energy of unconditional love here um and actually seeing the bigger picture and seeing that you know you're not the only one with an opinion you're not the only one with um with rights and uh, and needs and you know um and have you, you know, are you, are you, you know, are you hitting out at somebody um, or are you in a place of unconditional love? Are you going to transcend that into this place of unconditional love? You know, are you going to look at, because this, I'm getting the feeling off this one, this, this seven of pentacles here is actually about your behaviour. <clears throat> Integrity again, like I said, let's do the chariot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, look. There, there is a need to look at yourself, okay? <laughs> Just devil with the overall energy here. There's, there, I feel like there's a lot of temptation to sabotage yourself or to slip back into old ways of being. Into the because this is, this is consistent. The seven of ones is uh, sorry, swords is consistent with um, with a trauma bond. So you know there could still be residue here, you know. But you are you're learning super fast really learning super fast it's going to put you into your your ultimate place of wisdom and intellect and knowing and and uh abundance <clears throat> you're definitely moving forward in a in a very very nice way so judgment ace of swords yeah clarity and the nine of cups so cla yeah clarity and speaking your truth and um <clears throat> what was that for? Sorry, the judgment, yeah. I feel like this is about you learning about your own power. And when I say power, I mean your ability to diffuse a situation by opening your heart space moving away from this toxic energy that you have perhaps displayed in the past when you've been overwhelmed um and really being more settled in yourself you're definitely bossing up energy here but i also feel like there is this temptation it's because of the overall energy being the devil the temptation to not do that to act like a child you know what i mean to revert to you know less than ideal ways that you have been in the past and you're aware of it it's not like you're not aware of it let's see what the tower is here why's the tower here yeah balance you want balance again right okay i just want to put another card in that actually no one please the devil <laughs> oh i love tower okay so yeah, look. In order to you're gonna yeah, there's gonna be this moment here where you have this choice, right? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna? Are you gonna continue this cycle, or are you gonna? Are you gonna retain balance? Are you gonna? Are you gonna see yourself? Like really see yourself here, and see what you're doing, and regain balance over yourself and this situation, or are you just going to be a dick? And I feel like, do you know what I feel like? I feel like you're going to, I feel like you're going to try really hard to not be a dick. Then you're going to be a dick. Then you're going to judge yourself for being a dick. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to, you're going to write your own karma there. You're going to, you're going to balance yourself back out again. I feel like it's a test for you this week 
Did I say integrity? Have I said that already? I think I have. <clears throat> Page of Cups, Justice. Yeah, I think this is like, this is a... <sighs> this is that moment when you, when you... I think mean, you're going to see something about yourself that you don't particularly fucking like and don't particularly want to see. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but I think that actually... You're going to say that word again. Using your integrity, I think, is going to help you to start that process of self-love on a deeper level. I read this thing the other day about... It said... Um, um, once you've healed your inner child, the young child, the naught to seven child that's been damaged and wounded, where those core wounds come from, once you've healed your inner child, then your unhealed teenager comes out, and that motherfucker is a motherfucker. <laughs> if you've got teenagers, like, you know, you'll know, they're a reflection of you. So, and I feel like this is it a little bit. It's, there's a, there's, a, there's a, a slip into immaturity here. Um, you put it back. Don't get me wrong, you put it back, but I, but I, I think, I think your behaviour is going to slap you in the face meat, um, before you have the realisation. You know, I think you're going to have to go a certain way down that path before you have that realisation. You may, you can always be in your energy of, of um, um, integrity and authenticity here and recognise that and not actually act on that. You don't have to be a dick. But I feel like, and to be honest with you, I feel like you're going to be kind of pushed into it. I think partly, partly you're going to be pushed into it. And partly I think you're just going to sabotage yourself and do it. And then you're going to regret it. And then you're going to learn a valuable lesson. I mean, these are all fucking, I mean, you've got pretty much, apart from one card, they're all major arcanas. So this is like a, this is a life lesson for you. This isn't just a, this isn't just like a bit of drama for this week. You know what I mean? This is a lot, this is a pattern that you're trying to break here. And, you know, quite often when we're breaking patterns, it doesn't happen straight away. It doesn't happen overnight. There are many layers to a pattern. There's many, you know, there's a, there's a whole ball of limiting belief systems around every fucking trauma, like, you know, and this is the, the what is happening here is that you are breaking a deep-rooted trauma here. This is definitely about dealing with a pattern of your own and your own behaviour. But I feel like I feel like it needs to be. Pre I think in order for you to learn, I think it needs to be presented to you in this way, so that you can learn it on the deeper on the deeper level. And like I said last week, you know, it's all very much in the three D. This is all like in your face right now. But you know, the emperor. Let's see what's the clarified emperor, please. Before I say anything else. interesting and they get to a certain point and they don't want to come out excuse the emperor please why is the emperor here it's not at once it's like fuck boy energy again no it's not saying here that there's a choice but I feel like this is this is about a choice are you going to be the boy you was or the man you are? That's what it feels like to me. I'm going to pull one more on that night of ones, please. Yeah, choose. Choose wisely, my friend. Oh, beautiful. I feel like you are. I feel like you are. You know what? I do. I feel like you're going to come out of it uh, 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 better. A better person and knowing yourself better i think you're going to put it back i think not everybody will put it back okay some of you are going to have to relearn this lesson but i feel like for the majority of my collective i feel like you're gonna you're gonna get your shit together okay so divine feminine this energy of transformation and i feel like this is you I think you're really finding out who you are right now. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're really finding out who you are. It's really transformative. 
I love the death card. It's such a lovely, I think it's a lovely energy, the death card and the tower, actually, because for me, you know, change is really important and I'm really embracing change is really important as well. And I feel like you are doing that. I feel like you are embracing that change. I feel like you're willing, I feel like you're willing, you're willing to see. But you are defensive. And you're very, very passionate. Three of Pentacles. You're not too keen on collaborating. There is a slight energy of wanting things your way. But I think you've got good reason for that. I don't think it's... um. Cups in reverse. Well, look, there's a six... You're walking away for so I feel oh. I feel like my collective, my divine feminine collective, I think you're dealing with I don't think you're dealing with this this divine masculine. I think this is the divine masculine in our collective. You know, this is happening to your brothers, it's not happening to your ex partner or partner, do you know what I mean? This is someone very different. <sighs> I think you I think you're there's a if anyone is dealing with divorce here and um childcare and uh splitting of finances and stuff like that, you're in for a fucking rocky week, I'm afraid. There is an unwillingness here to meet each other in the middle and I think that there's going to be some harsh words spoken here yeah I'm sorry yeah so seven of what seven of ones so that's about um you know retaining or restating your boundaries uh the eight of souls has been caught up in your head about it torturing yourself I think someone's making you a bit fucking mental and I don't know I don't think you I think you're gonna I think you're gonna hit out um some of devils there I see with somebody poking you or you poking them again no balance you want to bring things into balance. There is a want to bring things into balance. Let's do another one. Just to see the lovers. Because of the way that this is reading is, I feel like they I feel like I want you to have Hmm. I want you to ask yourself why you're fighting with somebody. If you're fighting with somebody, I want to ask yourself why you're fighting. Have you fully let go of this person? Are you still hurt? Are you still, I mean... You want to end this conflict, though, okay? You want to end this conflict. And I think the reason you want to end this conflict, actually, is because there is love there. But I think this love... Like, if you're getting a divorce or something, do you know what I mean? Whatever the reason for that divorce is, it's obviously painful and it's obviously, you know, uncomfortable right now and you're at loggerheads and you're not really on the same page at all. But under that, there is there is love there, but I think it's quite hard for you to see it at the moment. But you want to end this conflict. Um, you want to make a plan to end this conflict, but now's not the right, I don't think now's the right time. 
my souls yeah look there needs to be a new clarity there needs to be a new way of communicating perhaps perhaps you both need counseling perhaps you need to see a counselor together some sort of mediation some sort of I don't know, go between here. As I feel like, I don't feel like you're seeing each other, you know? Or you are seeing each other, but you've seen the fucking ugly and you've forgotten that there's a person underneath that you once loved. I don't know why that is, but like that's that's the energy I'm getting here. But you don't know, you know, you don't use your intuition because you don't know everything yet. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, choose your battles, man. This is all very short term stuff. Okay, this is this is this is lifetime shit. This is definite pattern ending for my, my divine masculines in the collective, and this is definitely, you know like really short-term shit going on here. And as, a, as a, an individual person, you know, just to feel the two sides of, in, in one person, the divine masculine, divine feminine, and there is a real, there's been a real growth here, but there is a real, this situation is gonna test. It's a te it's a fucking test this week. Like, guys and girls, it's a test. Yeah, a test. You're going to put down these burdens. What, you know, choose, choose your battles. Because as a whole, you know, you've got the sun here and you've got the, and you've got the Ten of Wands here. This death transformation. And then in the blended, you know, this Ten of Pentacles. There is absolutely, you know, there is absolutely a beautiful outcome possible for this situation with integrity and right action. But I do feel like there is going to be a fucking explosion this week. So whoever you are, however you identify, I, I, I try and try and connect with this energy of the divine masculine here. The the underneath it, not the, because you know the divine masculine is going to be is going to be tempted to, to be a dick as well. Whoa, button pushing. Fuck. It's interesting because for me personally, right, I'm sitting more in the masculine energy right now. And it fluctuates. I go from from between. And it's it's really interesting. Okay, let's do let's do let's clarify these eight of ones. Communication is always a shitload of cards come out then. So the moon's come out again, all right? Listen, you don't know everything, all right? You don't know you need to you need to connect to your intuition. You're not being told everything. You're not saying everything, you're not being told everything, okay? There's not there is there is a lack of honesty here. There's a lack of wanting to reveal truths and stuff. But the same look, the hangman again. And also the ace of cups again. Where's where was that? Was that up here? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's there. Look. I think both people have a really romanticised fucking vision of fucking love uh, and that's not unconditional, romantic love is not unconditional love people, it's not what you should be striving for, in my opinion, it's up to you, but, you know, um, three words, so action is actually being taken in the, in the blended, what you're going to do with these energies is actually take action, actually communicate, and there is, there is, the uh, unconditional love is available here. 
But I think he's getting very lost in fucking anger. And I, I hate to say it, but a lot of it's being directed at you, Divine Feminine, and, and I think you're giving it back as well. So you want to, I mean, watch that, you do what you do. But So this new passion, this new passionate idea is also mixed with walking away from things that no longer serve you. Hmm. For some of you, this may end in a serious, a serious separation in some way, in some area of your life. Maybe you're going to walk out of a job or... If you don't control your emotions, there is, there is... This is a, this is a very big test. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, but it has look, it has the potential as seen here as well. It really has the potential to balance out into a sense of equality. I really, again, choose your battles. Know what you're fighting for. Know that you are speaking with your authentic self, and in order to do that, I really feel like that you need to connect to this hangman energy. This, you know, this you really need to see yourself. You need to be really honest with yourself. <sighs> yeah, look, look, cut through the bullshit. I mean, this applies to both, right? So if you're taking these to separate energies, this applies to both of you here. Taking it, it's just your energy as a whole. Um, you know, you really, you need to, instead of starting the fucking things rolling, you need to pause a minute, like the hangman's saying, and you need to fucking look at where you're lying to yourself. Right? Everybody. <laughs> like, you know, in order to put down the burden of this situation, in order to let go of this pain here, in order to move into this new balanced future, which is completely possible and is wanted on both sides, you're gonna, you're, your shadow asset is going to be massively triggered this week. Which is going to be transformative and it's going to be transformative, transformative. <sighs> But, you know, integrity. The high priest has come out in reverse there. Yeah, again, again, know yourself. Know yourself. Really know yourself. You may need to retreat a little bit here. It's all very well being the queen of pentacles. You know, if you're if you're not fully grounded with yourself, because I can become like a bit egotistical and money orientated, and you know, and even though she's not she's not in reverse in this reading, I just kind of feel like she. It's a warning. A lot of these reading today is a warning. Um, to check yourself. Yeah, the challenge the challenge is to keep having hope in this situation. Five of swords when there's gonna be things said that you don't want to hear, I think. <clears throat> but this is a can I just say that this is definitely not the divine masculine that this divine feminine is dealing with, by the way. I don't, I don't think it might be. I don't think it is though. I mean, it might. It will be for some of you, but for most of you, it's not. But this is a this is an inner a, a, an inner. Well, it's not just an inner battle. It's actually for the for the for the uh, divine feminine. It's an external, or whoever connects with that energy at this time. You know. 
So for the Divine Masculine, it's very much a, it's just very much about breaking a limiting belief system around a, a trauma, a childhood trauma of some sort. Um, that I think is, I don't know how it's going to relate to you, whether that's in a relationship or, but there's a real need here for you to rebalance your energy. And I think, like I said, I feel like the temptation to sabotage yourself, perhaps when you get despondent, things aren't going your way or you haven't worked out the way that you thought they would. You're not quite manifesting what you want at this time and you're going to get frustrated. And then someone's going to fucking poke you and then, and then you're going to get triggered and you're either going to respond, I think you're going to respond quite badly, but I think you're going to pull yourself back and recognise what it is, for what it is, and rebalance it. And um, and it's going to be okay. And you're going to you're going to learn a really important lesson about your own worth and self love here. And it's all going to work out all right for you. But I think it's going to be a testing week. And I think for the divine feminine. <laughs> It's a week of reflections, projections. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> reflections and uh, projections massively. And some of them belong to you, mate. Do you know what I mean? They don't, they're not all about the other person. I really, you need to really know what you're fighting for. Okay. Um, but there is balance. There is there is absolutely the potential for unconditional love from both whoever, both parties as a whole, through through this situation. But it is not going to be easy. Let's get some advice. I'm going to do separate advices actually because I feel like we need them. Okay, so for the divine masculine. Okay, stay in your sovereignty and connection to your higher self. You have the wisdom, you have the smarts here to to do the right thing, to act with integrity. <laughs> yeah, be. Be logical and not overly emotional. Not to the point where you're cold. Be aware that you could turn cold, okay? Don't get arrogant. Stay humble. That's King of Pentacles, yeah. Channel that energy. King of Pentacles is an earth energy. Um, very steadfast. Focus is an entrepreneur, you know, and an entrepreneur, somebody that runs their own business, you know, you have a lot of hats to wear, you have a lot to juggle, you know, and the only way that you can do that is with balance. And oddly enough, that card is actually sitting on the temperance card, which is a balance. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, integrity just keeps keeps coming into my head. I'm uh, sorry, I keep saying it. The high priestess, yeah, you really need to connect to your higher self here. Being a man you want to be, not the boy you was. Okay, that's the that's the energy that I'm 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 getting from that. And you may also um, find yourself connected to uh, or wanting to reach out to a um, another guy who whose opinion you trust uh, and have faith in, and also um, a female character as well. Well, I think this is more about you, but you know. Now's a good time to get reading, but, you know. Okay, Divine Feminine, Six of Wands. <laughs> Look, it is completely possible for this situation to work out all right, my friends. There will be victory after this battle. But there will also be wounding. The hangman again, for fuck's sake. Do you know what? You may need to take a step back. You may need to just, to just hold your fucking horses here. All right? Is this battle worth it? Only you know, do you know, you know. I'm not saying you should roll over and just accept shit by any means at all. Absolutely not what I'm about. But okay, look. <clears throat> the 
there may be wisdom coming to you from a younger person here. So if there's kids involved in this, make sure you listen to him. It's going to be set up here as well, actually, for the Divine Masculine. I should have said that. This is about a way of thinking. This is more about my... So if you were thinking about moving or something like that, and you were moving your kids or, you know what I mean? Well, I, I don't know. But like, th there could be some, you know, interaction with children here. This one for sure. The Page of Cups. Again, that's self. That's about self-love. Again, you need to nurture yourself here. And you need to offer this... You need to... Don't need to do anything, but it is recommended by the cards. The advice is to give love, love yourself. But I think seven of cups here. There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices there. It could cause confusion. I think you're going to be pulled in all directions this week. Integrity is the word. Anyway, I hope that helps. So that resonates. Be, be open to it. All right. Right. Big loves.